Hello Art Beaters! Becky here for Artbeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm going to show you how to do a seed bead daisy chain stitch. This is so cute and so popular right now for making cute little stacked bracelets, chokers, anklets, anything you can dream up. It's so cute to use this technique. Uh, so let's take a look at how to do the daisy chain. Daisy chain is a super cute stitch and it's really easy to accomplish and give your look a really whimsical floral touch. You can use a variety of beads and seed beads to achieve this look. This piece was made using 11 aught and 8 aught round seed beads. I'm working with 8 aught round seed beads today in three different colors and I've got a 4 millimeter prestige crystal pearl for the center of my daisy. So to begin, you're going to add 8 seed beads to your thread. Um, now these ones over here use six. That is purely to make the best circle around the center seed bead. So because my center seed bead is a little bit bigger, I'm using eight today. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got my eight seed beads added. I'm gonna come back up through the first seed bead added to make a little loop with all of my seed beads. Then I'm going to add my center pearl, which is this beautiful four millimeter rose gold prestige crystal pearl. And then I'm gonna count four seed beads up from where my thread's coming out of and come through that next seed bead. Pull tight to form my daisy. How cute is that? So to start the next daisy, you usually we add a bead or more between each daisy. I'm adding this cute little freshwater um, potato pearl between each of my daisies and I'm alternating the colors just because I think that's a really fun look. And you just keep going with that. So I am going to add a coral daisy next. So pick up eight seed beads in the coral color. Five, six, seven, eight. Come back up through that first seed bead added. Pick up your center pearl. Count four beads up from where your thread is coming out of. Bring your thread through that bead across and pull tight to get your pearl in the center. So cute, I'm ready to add my potato pearl, freshwater pearl. And make my next daisy, which is a pink daisy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come back up through that first seed bead added. Pick up my center rose gold pearl. Count up four beads from where my thread is coming out. So I'm coming through that bead right across. Pull tight to form my daisy, and I kind of like to push it down so it's close to the previous bead. Look how cute this is turning out. Ready for my next freshwater pearl. So you just keep going with that, and you can make your daisy chain as long or as short as you want. These would be cute little earrings. I think I'm going to continue and make a bracelet. It would make a really cute um, necklace, especially a choker, a choker with this little look would just be so sweet, so trendy. Um, you can also make, this is a mask chain that I made that I converted into a necklace. Be a good sunglasses holder. 
um, for your summer looks. Just so many cute ways that you can use the daisy chain stitch and it's super fast and easy which we love. We love a good fast easy beading stitch. So really popular stitch right now. Um, super easy to get started with and try. A little tip for knowing which bead is the bead across from where your thread is coming out of. I know that this is the bead I want to bring my center pearl and needle through because then there will be three beads on either side. So I know that's the center bead. So it's four beads up from where my thread is coming out of and that also means that there are three beads on either side of that pearl when I add it. Um, now that might be a different number if you're using six seed beads like this daisy chain, you'll have two seed beads on either side of your center bead. So that's just a little tip for a good way of remembering where to bring your needle through to complete the daisy. Another great thing about this stitch is if it's feeling like flimsy, like the petals aren't going to stay, you can always reinforce and go back through beads because this stitch is really done in the round. It's just a bunch of looping to create the daisies. It's really easy to go back through the thread path. So I'm just going to go back through this daisy that I've just created to kind of reinforce and strengthen how the petals lay. And then you can even go back through the other daisies. So I'm going to end on this bottom bead here and go back through that pearl next to it and reinforce the next flower. So super easy to position your thread to different places, go back and reinforce beads if you think that they're not strong enough, um, if you want to really make sure that you're necklace holds up while you wear it or bracelet whatever you turn this into it's always a good idea to reinforce and you can already see that that daisy looks a lot tighter a lot stronger so reinforcing is always a good idea and you can do that as you're making the daisies just reinforce um, once you've completed the round stitch just reinforce right then and there and then move on or at the end you can go back and reinforce it's really up to you either way it's a quick stitch and just looks so so cute there another reinforced daisy and you can tell it really helps the shape if you're wondering how to finish daisy chain stitches, you can stitch on any components that you like using the thread. Um, just stitch it right on with the thread. If your bead sizes on your petals are have a big enough hole size and you're working with a fine enough gauge jump ring, you can simply slide the jump ring through one of those bead holes and attach your clasps or other connection points in that way. And that's what we did here. The jump rings were small enough to fit through the seed bead holes, so just attach jump rings directly. But you can also stitch on different components if you don't want to um, use the bead holes with your jump rings or if you don't have the right size jump rings. So there's lots of different ways to finish your daisy chain project as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. Let me know what technique you'd like to see next. I always appreciate hearing your suggestions and ideas, so make sure to leave a like and a comment. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you get notified every time a new video is released. Thank you again so much, and I will see you next time. Bye!